The first thing to understand is that DCA compliance is a process, not a software package. One of the nice things about the big time system is that it's a web-based system. And so a lot of companies, including government contractors, have things like integration with Jira and automatic feeding back to their ticketing system into the timesheet. So we've actually set things up on the back end so that all that still works. All of the audit log is intact as things move from outside systems into big time. We also have a process in place so that a user can actually look at that information and sign off that it's their information. So as long as those things are set up and it's logging time on the day of and the user has a chance to review and say yes that's my information you could maintain that audit log and stay compliant. The same thing is true with mobile as long as all of the tracking is in terms of logging it on the same day. All of that happens in the back end of the system so that we can maintain compliance for mobile users that are outside of your corporate structure. The one thing that we typically struggle with smaller firms, the 10 to 20 staff, is a theory that I can get away with just an audit log for compliance. So we'll walk through what an audit log in big time looks like because it's a big piece of the puzzle and why a regular audit log is not good enough. All of the things that we do within the audit log are secure, maintained, long-term, tagged, and dated appropriately. But we add some capabilities to that audit log so that we make compliance for you a lot easier. Simple things like a user acknowledging when a time entry is outside of the standards for time entry and explaining why. I'll walk you through that in subsequent videos. Compliance is policy and procedure. And then you have a system like BigTime that's compatible with DCAA. But it's not necessarily the software that makes you compliant. The areas that make you compliant are how you document things, how you are training, management review and approval, enforcement of your internal controls for tracking labor, and then there's regular review of that information. Things like floor audits and admin review on employee time. We facilitate that. It's part of the reason that we have accountants doing DCAA certification all the time that like working with big time. The reason is because they can put these policies in place to say, for example, every Wednesday, we want you to produce this report or every day at five o'clock, we want you to look at this report. And if we print these out every week, we can show that you have regular management audit of that information. So when somebody comes in to do a floor audit, they can say, hey, what procedures are in place for administrative staff to keep track of this process and make sure people are compliant? And you can pull out that book and say, this is our procedure. So we can't make you do it, but we can make it very easy for you to set up those processes.